or yun nga, compliments but see. Good morning, Noxki. Faceless Void. So this will be their combination. Um, I have a feeling that this is a carry Faceless Void. Nakita natin yung carry um, resolution before, <clears throat> and we can see it again today. Pa, tignan natin. Maganda rin siya combination, of course, with Skyrath and Witch Doctor. Okay din naman yung laning phase niya. You're gonna go against Sand King and Jekira. Though, medyo annoying sila a little bit. Pero, Faceless Void is an independent um, or a decent laner sa safe lane. Or kahit mag-isa siya. Pero, of course, makakaroon naman niya ng support. <coughs> Shoutout mo naman si Lola Coring ko nanonood siya ngayon. Yo Lola, good morning sa yo Lola. Ayan. Hope you have a great day, Lola. Nanonood ba talaga si Lola ng Nandota? Ah, <laughs> uh, yung anime na kinukuwento ko kanina pinapanood ko, ano, ah, uh, it's a soccer, soccer anime. Something night. I forgot. Ano kalimutan ko yung title, pero may night siya, eh. may night. I don't know. Katatapos ko lang panoodin yung days and medyo na beatin ako so I was like I gotta find a new anime and then napano nakita ko yung night and it's not even bad so nakilang episode na ba ako nakilang na nasa fourth na yata ako fifth or fifth episode I don't remember and kay Maeve Reader taka kay Andre yo good morning sa yun guys what's up what's up Oh, Spectre pick. I haven't seen this hero forever. Pero Warlock and Spectre is actually a pretty good combination. Napanood nyo po yun Germany versus Sweden sa FIFA. Actually, no. Um, hindi ako... Hindi ako ganun ka... Ka... Ka engage or... I actually don't get soccer as much as I get other sports. Um, I think yung soccer yung isa sa mga sports that I am least interested. It just happened na I'm running out of sports anime. Kaya yung soccer naman ang pinanood ko. <laughs> I actually, like, I, I'd rather watch baseball than soccer. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. Pero medyo hindi ko ganun nagigets yung soccer. Pero while watching anime, medyo nagigets ko na siya ng konti, konti, konti. Pero, kumbaga, hindi ganun kalaki yung knowledge ko dun sa sport na yon compared sa ibang sports. Hating gabi pa po dito sa Rome. Oh, so, good evening sa'yo. Good evening. Ugly emoji. What up, what up. Napakagandang emotes naman. Ayan. Kai Uzadas, yo, good morning or shout out sa yo. Baseball is love, yeah. Baseball is really good. Um, sabi nila yung baseball daw is nakak sobram sobram boring kasi walang nangyayari. You just don't get baseball. <clears throat> but yeah, eto fifth pick ng BGJ Storm. We are waiting for it. Pero mamaya na ay para puro sports yung pinagkukwentuhan natin. Ano naman tayo? Ah, is Esports, esports, esports. <laughs> so yeah, basketball is love. True. True that too. That prophet is gonna be the final pick. Aside from VGJ Storm, and yeah, as predicted, it is a resolution faceless point. So maganda to. They're actually both teams has good team fight. So abangan natin. Makis maganda maganda laban to. They have um. They have chaotic offering. They have haunt. They have storm spirit. They have epicenter. They have ice path. They have really good combinations aside than team by the same with DJ Storm. Meron sa ng sphere. You have the exorcism when they're like pushing. They have a blood seeker, a rupture. You have um, death ward. So in terms of like team fight, this is gonna be a close one. If um, if they can secure warlock, I think games will be um, team fights will be easier. Warlock or Sand King. But it depends. In terms of laning pace, um, they also have a decent laning pace. But I don't see Storm Spirit getting online early, just because in some matchup niya against dito kay Dead Prophet. So it might take some times bago mag um, mag online yung heroes ng team Baidu. But yun yah, resolution same thing with resolution. He needs a couple more item. 
to deal a lot of damage during those team fights pero nandun si Witch Doctor and Skyrat para i-provide yung damage na yon. So I guess medyo in terms of laning phase, I kind of favor VGG Storm. I expected them to win their laning phase, pero what's good thing about um team by this draft is that maganda yung um counter initiate nila. They have Sand King, they have Jack Hero, they have Storm Spirit, they have Spectre Ultimate. So every single time na um, they uh, underestimate the potential now Team Baidu, um, Team Baidu could easily uh, turn around the situation na yon dahil din sa nature ng hero nila. <clears throat> Pero yeah, pagalala na natin ang ating uh, players for this game. And what heroes are they going to be playing? The side now of VGG Storm, MSS on Skyrath, Resolution and Faceless Void, si Snake King on Bloodseeker, si War on Death Prophet, si SVG naman for the Witch Doctor. Sa side naman guys, ang Team Baidu. Oh, I don't read Chinese character. But standing in CG on Storm Spirit and si Orange naman on Sand King. Oh, si BTY, ayan. Ano bang pangalan nila dito? BTY. Wala eh. Hindi, hindi, uh, actually, I'm not that familiar sa mga players na to ng Team Baidu. I don't know what. Meron talaga? Uh, meron talaga ang ano? Anime na Sep, Sep, Sepak? Sipa? Takraw? Atun God <laughs> <laughs> Lamao. Tiga natin, tiga natin. Pero mukang after looking at the matchup, mukang they will place Snake King sa middle. Ayan. So si Snake King sa middle, and they're gonna put Yawar on the safe lane. So I guess that is um a favorable matchup. Um, it made more sense since um I think. Bloodseeker should be able to handle the um, storm period that that dun sa um, blood rage niya. Um, and then dito naman sa bottom lane, uh, of course it's a dead prophet. It's a hero that hard to kill. That the spirit siphon niya. So kapag nag start na mag dive yung team Baidu, they always have that spirit siphon and silence also gonna be good here. And yeah, intay natin, intay natin. Should be an interesting game for both. But this is a must win. Um, this is a must win para sa um, VGJ Storm. Kasi, uh, tawag dito. Um, kailangan nila ipanalo to for their um, seeding. Kasi tayo silang tatlo ng complexity eh. Complexity, Optic, and VGJ Storm is actually tied right now for that top seed spot. So ayan, medyo tahimik muna yung laning phase natin. Pero for sure, once they get their levels, um, I'm not even surprised seeing VGJ Storm a kill. Same thing with this bottom lane. They have good damage. Um, medyo mahihirapan silang patayin si Yawar unless Yawar made a mistake. But for sure, Skyrat is the uh, easier target here. Oh, hi, Ogusaimas! Ayan, sabi ni Team Buwan. Shout out to you too. And pa shout out then from Mendez. Ayan, sabi ni Jan Chris no BCO. Shout out sa yo G. Good morning. Good afternoon or good evening. Hmm. Sing ba? Let's see, let's see. What else can we say about this game? Pero sa top lane for sure, resolution is um, putting a lot of pressure dito. Kay um Guy Spectre, and I think Warlock was pulling the wave, so yeah, he was a little bit left alone. But with the, dial nando naman yung Warlock heal, um, I think, or I know, um, Spectre should be able to handle. Pero sa bottom lane, they will secure the first blood. Again, nicely done. <clears throat> Make resolution great again. <laughs> So, ayan, tawag dito. Pero so bottom line, SVG casting yung kanyang Malediction or Maledic. 
Pero, I don't think that's enough to kill I don't see Night Stalker. Pero, so bottom lane, nice body block coming from Sand King. Is that gonna be enough to secure your kill here to Kai Bloodseeker? Pero, nice turn around. This is MSS. He silenced. I don't see Storm Spirit. Now, you stick charges. And no. Actually, Storm just leveled up. Pero, nandoon yung Blood Rage plus damage from um, Blood Seeker. So, in the end, they turned around that situation. Siguro akala niya that Blood Seeker was really low to the point that he backed up and was not able to fight. Pero, yeah. Marami na mamatay sa so mali ang kala. <coughs> Resolution is gonna carry this game like he always does. Eh, hey, malamang carry player siya ng ano eh. Nah, <laughs> BGJ Storm, but I know what you mean, I'm just kidding. Joke lang yan. <laughs> Kai Raijin, shout out to your G. Clay Duro, hello Olet. Mm, 2-0 in favor of BGJ Storm sa ngayon. And actually, Sand King is rotating more. Um, I think he knows that Bloodseeker is getting an even matchup to him. But it's a top lane. Mukhang nahuli nila doon si um, Spectre. So that was a good pick off sa side ng Radiant. Grabe. Ang ganda talaga ng Immortal na yun ni Jack Hero. Sobrang ganda. Pero nice turn around. The Spirit Siphon though is making Yawar tanky para doon sa uh, damage na ginagawa ng Team Baidu. It looks like um, Death Prophet is gonna be okay for now. <clears throat> Asan ka ngayon? Is she? Uh, nakabalik na po ako sa amin. Sa, L sa ka LA, California. So, ito na. Baidu actually got spotted. Medyo malaking bagay ito. Because not only he be eating yung damage from Arcane Bolt, kasi nandun din yung um, damage from the creeps. Pero nice backup na rin kay Sand King. And ito, SVG actually spotting um, itong si Warlock using Shrine. So, yun, napik of patuloy siya doon. So, so far, so good. I think, um, as predicted, uh, BGG Storm is dominating yung laning phase natin dito. Pero, kumbaga, you can't still um, underestimate yung, aray, yung team fight potential dito ng um, team Baidu. Ano kaya ibig sabihin ng Baidu na yun? It sounds like a Chinese team. And as Brian, good morning sa'yo. <clears throat> Um, tingnan natin, looking at their heroes, who will strike first? Um, it made more sense that VGG Storm will strike first. Pero wait lang, ito na yung paralyzing cast. Will bounce actually three times kay Inspector. And that will put him in a really low health and wala siyang heal. And ito na counter initiate with Santin Borrow Strike. Pero si Rathlush actually taking a lot of damage. Four seconds pa bago siya mapag time walk dito. And nandun na yung heal. Pero meron tayong um, stick charges. Pero ito na yung turn around. Nice borrow strike a Witch Doctor and he will take that kill. Unfortunately, wala silang detection para i-reveal yung Sandstorm between Sand King. But yeah, in the end, it was a one-for-one -one trade, of course. In a favor pa rin ng BGJ Storm since they secured Spectre on that engagement. Hey, Mio Sai! Yo, shout out to you, Jesus. Komostas, komostas. Pero ito sa gitna, meron tayong Rapture, but easy TP out lang from Snake King. Ayan. Um, I guess sa side ng Big J Storm, ang stun nila is a Witch Doctor, saka yung Chrono Spear, so. And I like this TP. He actually did not TP very far. Nag-TP lang siya sa tier 2 tower, so he could easily get back in lane. So, good decision making kay CG dito sa Storm Spirit. <clears throat> but seven minutes into this game, and I think Spectre is having a hard time. Same with um, Storm Spirit. I think every time, pero eto na naman si Spectre in the top lane. They committed Chrono Spear. Antanong, do they have enough damage? Na yung heal is it gonna be there? Yes, it's gonna be there. Pero nandun na yung um, last right click from SVG to take down T Spectre that time. 
um, tawag dito. Uh, kung papansin nyo, like King Baidu, every time, or at least when Sand King rotates, he's actually not um, accomplishing anything. Um, kasi, kung papansin nyo guys sa lineup nila, they actually don't have that great combination. Like, Warlock Fatal Bonds is decent, and then um, Spectre uh, damage is decent also with the uh, dagger. Pero if you think about it, that's all they have. Um, after makapag time walk dito ni, um, ni Faceless Void, it's it's just a hard kill. Um, the most viable kill is sa gitna, which is the Bloodseeker. Once na makaroon ng um, higher level pa, si Storm Spirit. And then Spectre gets an ultimate off. And that, that's the only region I see them getting a pick off. Pero sa ngayon, knowing that they have a Witch Doctor. Pero eto na nga sa gitna, Storm Spirit. Pero meron tayong Blood Ride. Pero he will dodge both of them. And Snaking will go down to mid lane. But yeah. yun like what I said, uh, it's it's hard. Uh, so bottom lane, when Sand King rotates, it's only gonna be a Jack Hero and Sand King dealing damage. So it's still not enough. Compared to side of VGG Storm, um, when, kapag nag rotate si Skyrath, you have the Wish Doctor Maledict, and then you have the Stun, and then you have the right click from Faces Void, and then your Arcane Vault alone just deals so much damage. So, kumbaga, mas maganda yung rotations and kill potential side ng VGG Storm compared sa King Baidu, Sand King, rotating sa mapa. Pero, nice! Spectre Ultimate, and I think they did not expect that sa side ng Dire, and they take down the war. So, bottom lane now, MSS is the target. Nice silence guy, SG. Pero, mamamatay ba? MSS thinking about it, pero nandun na yung last hit. So, eto na. Yung first wave ng Ultimate is um, starting to get used to side ng King Baidu, but um, they gotta wait again. The next um, hunt is gonna be in two minutes, and of course, he's gonna be fighting, he's gonna be farming, and kailangan nila ng perfect opportunity. And I think that was a little bit Yawar's fault then, dahil um, he actually dove deep into the tier 2 tower where he took a lot of tower damage. So, ayun, nabigyan siya na isang mabilis doon ni Spectre. <clears throat> And I think also you burn from Jack Hero. Pero eto na si Jack Hero got spotted with the Mystic Layer. Neto ang si uh, Skyrath. So, so he did go down. And yeah, mas maagang nag online, I believe. Yung um, ultimate or yung level 6 ng uh, BGG Storm. It's just a now ng regular spot lang. Pero eto na naman yung bling to Epicenter. They're actually committing everything for Bloodseeker. So Bloodseeker will go down. And I, I like this. Um, Storm Spirit is actually uh, more effective para mapag create siya ng uh, space sa mapa for um, Spectre. And Spectre is actually farming, as you guys can see, sa bottom jungle ng Dire. So it's uh, it's a little bit safer for him to farm on that side since medyo um, warded na rin yung jungle dito, top jungle ng Dire side. But they just place an observer ward where it's a top lane naman. Si Warlock is actually level 5. Pero mukhang mamamatay pa yata siya dito. Fatal Bondings and the Juke! Is he gonna be Juke Lord? Ito na. Pero andun yung Paralyzing Cast. And we'll take down si Jack Hero that time. <clears throat> and yeah. 11 minutes sa laban natin. Uh, looking good for King Baidu. Pero they're getting pickoffs. Um... But they're not getting objectives after that. Um, si Resolution is still untouched dito sa top lane. They need silence or a good uh, golem. Actually, they actually need a good golem borrow strike. Para kay um, Resolution if they want to take down this faceless void. Pero hindi pa level 6 ito si Skyra. And he's actually level 9. Guys, level 9 na si Resolution dito. So he has like um, high levels. And Muang si Yawar. And um, MSS is making their moves to bottom lane. I think they might have spotted Jack Hero. This is not good. They're gonna come from the backside. And eto na si Jack Hero. Can he TP out? Na silent siya dito. Nandun yung Mystic Flare. Ice. No, the macro file lang was just there. Pero MSS will TP right away back to base. And will not cash. Eto na yung Haunt found Yawar on the bottom lane. And it will be a good pickup. Makakansin ng teleportation And they will also secure a tier 1 tower Pero sa top lane Nakakuha na rin pala ni Resolution Yung tier 1 tower So yeah um, I like what Team Baidu is doing 
Pero um, even though na napipick off ni, nila si Yawar is they're still maximizing yung farm. Bloodseeker is still farming. Faces board is still farming. And I guess si Yawar yung napipick off done. Pero as the game prolong or the game uh, goes later, um, of course, mas, mas lalakas yung heroes ng King, uh, Team Baidu because of that blink dagger na tong si San King. Yo, Deskid! Good morning sa yo. Hello, hello. Pero tayo yung power dito kay Witch Doctor. Pero narinig ko yung Rapture on the other side. Nice spotted Spectre and he will go down. Nice rotation sa side dito ng Radiant. They might be looking for more. Pero mukhang hindi nila mahahawal si Sun King, unfortunately. Eh, napagan ng tago naman pala kay Warlock. But no, I believe... Is he gonna, is he gonna get spotted? Hindi, hindi siya makikita dito sa mga panalan. So, that was a great job for him. <coughs> So yeah, 14 minutes to laban natin. See, actually, the see faceless void or the resolution is still on the top lane. Oh no, they dusted. Ito si Sand King. Though he will dodge the Mystic Flare, makukuha pa rin siya doon ng um, BGJ Storm. They had enough damage to take down ito si Orange or si Sand King. Ja Narcher, shout out to you, G. Good morning, good morning. So easy peasy tier one tower dito for the radiant side. No contest, no hunt. Pero hindi, they ha we still haven't seen uh, yet to see yung um, rock or yung golem dito ni uh, warlock kumbaga. Pero he did get spotted. Automatic TP respond from Sand King. Pero kinansa niya lang. Panakot lang. At ishi na ako ng gamot. <laughs> Pero wait lang sa top lane, Jack Hero. A geek. Jack Hero, a geek. <laughs> but I think he was just trying to pressure lane and uh, put a little bit of pressure on the tier 1 tower. But oh no, he had to use Golem para to cancel in Death Ward. But what level of Death Ward? Ang mali I actually never before. Yeah, he will not survive that damage. And now he will TP, but the Kronos here was there. Nice um, teleportation from Resolution. And they will secure three heroes. I mean, actually, two heroes. Si Jakir na matay sa taas. Ayon, dito sa engagement. But... And easy peasy, 100 gold. Huh. I guess this is hard. Um, Spectre still needs a lot of farm. See, si, um, see, face this void kasi aganda ng laning face niya. Eh. He, he had a better laning face. He have he has better farm compared to Spectre. So, mas siya yung, mas makakalaban siya, di ba? <clears throat> um, tawag dito. And, compared kay, um, compared kay Storm Spirit, uh, compared kay Yawar, na Dead Prophet, si Storm Spirit is, um, tawag dito, kailangan din ng item to uh, survive yung mga team fight na to. Kung baga, if, uh, Team Baidu wants to survive this game, they just need to keep going in terms of, like, pressuring the map, and getting pickups, pero um, sa ngayon medyo AFK round mula dito yung dire side. Uh, ayan. Ashley, uh, shout out to you. Pero kay Abner Damos, what is EG's current spot? Uh, I think they're at the fourth place. Fourth, uh, nasa fourth place sila para sa um, round robin natin, and I think they are waiting for the playoffs. <clears throat> How do I see the late game? Pero wait lang, I heard. Ito na, si Wardock. I mean, he's just trying to ward. <laughs> Nag Nagtatry lang mag ward yung tao and he got picked off. That's really sad. As a support, I would know. How do I see late game? Um, uh, I wanna see, I, I wanna say it's um, Team Baidu. It, it favors Team Baidu just because of the Storm Spirit and Spectre potential. But knowing what um, resolution can do with this hero, and um, yeah, like what I said, what resolution can do with um, Faceless Void, um, it's still hard. Because kait na sabihin mo na you have a better late game in terms of hero. Pero kapag nakuha ka na isang magandang Chrono Spear, and there's just one Chrono Spear could easily turn around the situation. 
And Chrono's Fury, it's just easier to execute. Kung mapapansin nyo sa hero ng Billy Storm, it's easier to execute. Well, I guess you can say then, same thing sa Team Baidu. Pero they actually have Aegis here. Oh no, binigay na yung rock dito. Can they burst the hero down? Makukuha kayo na si Yawak. Pero ito nag-buyback na si Witch Doctor I do, uh, right away. Yung Blood Red, nandun na rin Epicenter. But on the other end, nakakuha nila si um, Warlock. Pero they are actually not securing heroes. They don't have enough damage para mapatay itong si Spectre. Hindi, makukuha pa rin si Resolution. So that is a team wipe secured para sa BGJ Storm and yeah resolution with an Aegis hindi man lang siya namatay sa engagement na to um, though it was a great run for Team Baidu it was a great engagement they began nila yung rock nila yung epicenter storm spirit also was there I guess um, sobrang kunat ni I think they took a lot of time bago mapatay nila si Yawar on the Death Prophet and yeah it's just the nature of the heroes I think sa side ng BGJ Storm sa ngayon 19 minutes into the game Kaya medyo nagi struggle sila. And yung laning phase actually hurt them a lot. Kaya, um, nai hirapan silang sumabay sa mga engagement na to. And now Warlock is gonna run in to a death high ground. Kalungkutan. Easy for resolution. Yeah. I mean, when you have re reliable team, kumbaga, katulad ni Yawar. Kita naman si Yawar, ilang beses yung na-pick off dun sa bottom lane and he's still second sa net worth natin. He's still that hanky Death Prophet. He's still that Death Prophet who's actually dealing damage sa team fight, diba? Ano bang item dito ni Yawar? He actually went for drums in you. Gusto ko to. Um, pero si Jack Hero may spot na naman sa top lane. Kaya na pa to eh, si Jack Hero. Um, nag split push lang siya. I mean, that's the only thing he can do, actually. Um, they don't even have a good pick-up. Uh, I mean, pick-up potential with Sand King sa ngayon. Kasi, yun nga, ang tanky na ng heroes ng BGJ Storm sa ngayon. Well, except dun kay Witch Doctor and kay Skyra. <clears throat> Pero ayan, napatay din na yung war. Just that full duration silence just killed itong si Death Prophet. I mean, si uh, Storm Spirit. Uy, ito na yung Rod of Atos to Death Ward. Binigyan na rin na rin Death Ward para hindi na makaalis dito si, ano, si Sand King. <clears throat> so, and I guess the sad part about this aside ng Team Baidu is yung long durations ng ultimate nila uh, sa Golem saka sa Spectre ultimate. Pero we might see another engagement here. Um, I don't know. I don't. Man, it's hard. Like, if, if you guys think about it, kung if this was a 70 minute game, like, Team Baidu for sure can win those engagements. They can secure this team fight. Pero this is only 24 minutes into this game. And, like what I said, Kanina, hindi sila karan ng kagan down Chrono Spear from Resolution will secure two heroes. Pero, oh no, the Age of Immortal will pop. Ito na second life and mamamatay din. Actually, si Spectre, he has buyback. Ito na yung um, hunt from Spectre. Is he gonna reality in? Oh, oh no, he got silenced to Mystic Slayer. Ay, ay, ay. It's just way too much damage. The, the Skyrath. Kung ikaw compare nyo guys yung um, presence na ginagawa ni Skyrath and uh, na ginagawa ni, uh, ni Sand King and ni Warlock, it's just way too much. And lalo na kapag meron kang Hunt And also a Spectre or a Storm Spirit that dives in Sobrang pasok na pasok yung paralyzing kasi itong si Witch Doctor And then that silence from that Prophet is always clutch And you always have resolution securing those Groot Chronos <coughs> Ah, nagamit ba niya? Oh uh, I actually didn't see Sino po sa tingin nyo makakuha ng TI slot sa NA? Ang uh, uh, yung pinedict yung na predict ko sa uh, na predict ko sa Battle Pass ko is ano ba? Optic BGJ sa EG. Pero complexity daw, looking really strong. 
Yo, Kaikon! What's up, G? What up, what up? Good morning, or good afternoon na pala. Good morning. Good afternoon. Baka gising mo lang eh, so good morning. <laughs> pero ito, nice bar strike blink out. Pero nice stifling dagger will connect three heroes. So dito sa stifling dagger. Yung uh, dagger nitong si Spectre. Si and Sand King will TP back to base. Up to gaming first. I think mag I don't know. Ano eh, they're actually uh they have a three way tie. Cause um BGJ beat Optic. Optic beat complexity and complexity beat BGJ. So that's what happened. So patlo sila na may pare pareho ng tagi isang tagi isang um tagi isang talo pero i think tapos na yata yung sa optic that's why kasi ito eh pag nanalo yung BGJ dito they're also 5 and 2 diba and then complexity they're actually also playing a game um i think it's against Leviathan i don't remember pero yeah for sure on that they could win that one too so yeah tapos silang may 5 magiging 5 i 6 1 in score Pero nice chrono sphere. Ito na yung epicenter from Sand King, but still not enough to take down Hero Six. Meron na mga BKB um, team Baidu. Buyback from, from Storm Spirit. Pero looks like Jack Hero will go down. Sumunod na rin ng mabilis dito si Spectre. And that is four heroes dead sa dire side. And they don't actually have a good wave clear besides dito kay Jack Hero. And he's dead. So, this is a set of rocks para sa. BGJ Storm. Um, 30 seconds bago mabuhay dito si Spectre. And kahit na mabuhay siya dito, I don't think he's gonna be doing anything since wala na yung kanyang hunt para sa team fight. <laughs> Parang 3 months na ba? Parang kailan lang, ano? Parang kailan lang. Swallowage. <laughs> Pero salamat sa walang support mo. Um, like what I said, Kanina, it will be a three-way tie. Because this is the last game. This is the last game of Big Storm. And Optic just finished their last game. They just finished five-two. So both teams only have seven games to play. Because eight yung na qualify, de ba? So they are the eighth na slot. So, um, uh, because yung mga yung kalaban nilang nila ano eh? It's either Team Baidu. Just a squad, unless just a squad pull off something against um, complexity, then it will just be an BGJ Storm and Optic fight. Pero kung matalo yung BGJ Storm dito, for sure Optic will go sa direct invite. At sa direct invite sa ano na, agu move on na siya for TI. <coughs> 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 Ah yes, pasok na po yung TNT for playoffs. Pero ito na naman si Warlock got spotted and he's gonna get taken down by you, War. Man, 30k net worth need. How do you come back from this? Another kill secured. And ang nakuha nyo do- Whoa. MSS just solo killed Storm Spirit. I mean, it made sense. Unless merong Yule Scepter, Sea Storm. Pero yeah, he actually went for Kaya. So he wanted to fight, unfortunately. Um, shadow pa rin malakas yung heroes ng BGJ Storm. So. Yeah, magiging, magiging 6-1 yung tatlo. Wait, Optic lo lost twice? Dala lang pesa na tali yung Optic. Did they lose twice already? What do they can lose? Two. I know Natalo sila sa BGJ Storm. And they won every single one of them. Yeah. Some best palang tatalo yung ano. Some best palang tatalo yung optic, guys. It's 5 1, actually. It's not 5 2. It's 5 1. Um, and then. Okay, lang, i refresh ko na to. Tignate ko may update sa laban nila. 
Um, uh, wala pa naman. So, yeah. This looks like a BGJ storm one. So, it will be a 6 one. So, yeah. They will have a tiebreaker. Magkakaroon ng tiebreaker dito. Kasi, um, pero hindi may laban pa pala yung optics sa complex. Hindi pa pala sila naglalaro. Or, it should be starting soon. Check na lang natin mamaya. <clears throat> So for sure, I don't have GGG storm. So magiging six six one yung score natin dito. Ayan. And uh BGG Storm is waiting. Kung mapapanalo ng Optic and Complexity yung laban nila. So Optic is against Immortals and then Complexity is just a squad. So looking at the percentage of them winning it is, you know, pretty big. So for sure, it will have a three way tie. Man, 100% voted for Resolution as their MVP. What a guy. So, ito na. Uh, 9 out of 10 na yung... Ano ba yung cover natin? Sano si VGJ Storm natin yung cover namin eh, no? Tama ba? VGJ Storm, di ba? Yung cover natin. I believe. Pero, yeah. 